welcome back to let us learn to lead video series on free open source software designed by M. Srinivasan, Training Associate Mathematics, Kendra Vidyalaya Sangathan, Zonal Institute of Education and Training, Mumbai. Self-learning contents in video form on GeoGebra Dynamic Mathematics Software is presented at this video series. To view the contents, you may join Google Classroom by using the class code 73AUMBO. In this video, you will learn how to save, share and use the GeoGebra worksheet designed by you. For preparing this video lecture, I used Windows 10 operating system, licensed version, GeoGebra 5.0, a free open source software and free open source screen recorder software. Okay, let us start. First, let me show you how you can uh, save a file which you have prepared. I have opened a GeoGebra Classic 5 worksheet. Uh, let me go for the geometry view. Now I want to show the children that cyclic quadrilateral. For example, I am taking a very simple one. Cyclic quadrilateral. <clears throat> now I will take a circle. Through one point. Then I will take uh, the remaining points now. One, two, three. Already one point is there. Then I will take a polygon to complete it. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1. Good. Okay. Uh, now I think I can uh, show this object. Now you can go and show the angles. All the angles is shown. Now you can go to the option and you can go for rounding it off to 0 decimal place. Okay, now the for the child can come and understand it very carefully. Now you can ask the children what is the uh, some of the angles and so on. You can ask them. I said okay, 91 plus 89, 77 plus 103 is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, now how to save this cyclic quadrilateral file? It's very simple. Go to this file. Go to this save. Simply save. Click save. Immediately it will ask where you want to save. Simply type it as cyclic quadrilateral simply save it now remember you have to be very careful geogebra file will be saved as dot ggb file and its size will be in kilobytes only therefore i am uh, cyclic quadrilateral one something i am just writing it or i am saving it here you are seeing that the name has been changed cyclic quadrilateral name has been changed now you are now ready to use this uh, dynamic worksheet whenever you want it okay well i am just uh, closing it okay now let me show you that very interesting uh, equal cards of a circle one uh, dynamic worksheet i have made and i am doing this this is the dynamic worksheet i have made is it okay now the next one already you now you have seen that how to save it now in the next one I will tell you how you can share it with your friends. Normally you see there are two ways of sharing. One way of sharing is you can send this file through their WhatsApp or through their Gmail or whatever may be. Another way is you can share it through the net also, through internet also. The only thing is if you share it through internet, they can open it in the net only but they are able to download it also. Okay, now here for that, you can you have to sign in. Suppose I will uh, sign out and then tell you that how you have to sign in. Whenever you are opening any worksheet, on the right side you will show sign in or click it. It will ask you to sign in to GeoGebra. For GeoGebra signing, you can have an account. You can create one account or you can sign in with Google, with Office 365, with Microsoft, with your Facebook or with your Twitter. I am having one account. I am signing in with that. This is one of my account. Okay, I am signing in. Okay, now thank you for signing into GeoGebra. Open GeoGebra, no need for it. I am just closing it. My name has come on the top. Okay, now I am ready to export it now. Go to this file. You see, there are two ways of exporting. One is called sharing, another is exporting as a web page or exporting it as a GIF file. GIF file means animated GIF file will get saved in your computer. You can share it. But the web page, you will get a web address. 
Now I will go for this sharing. So automatically it, is, it will ask you preparing to upload. You see this workshop worksheet is being uploaded. Now I will give the heading to it equal cards of a circle. Now I think I will come down. It is being come over here. Now you can save and close. You can share it with the link or you can make it as public or you can make it as private whatever may be. Now you can have a tag also. I will just save and close. It is saving now. Okay, now it is saved. Now where it has got saved? Now you see whenever you are seeing this geogebra.org on the right side what you can do is you can sign in also. From here you can sign in. So okay. Now I already signed in. But when I am going for it, you see whatever I have done it. The key equal card of a circle just now I have uploaded. It is coming over here. Now I can share it with the link. Suppose if I open it, you are getting the address over here. You see this is the address. You can copy it and you can share it with your friends. Now whoever getting this link can open it. And by clicking these three dots, they can share it or they can download it. They can copy it. They can edit it because you have made it as public. This is the one way of doing it. Is it okay now? Okay. Now let us go back once again. There is one way of doing this X share. Then another is export. It is also giving the same thing. You see, again you can give the title. That is actually a thing which I did directly. This is also same thing. You see, text above the construction. Okay. Uh, property of angles made by equal cards at the center okay okay now text below the construction you can give any any instruction you want to give you can just give it to it okay move the slider to get different circles okay now you see again i am uploading this also will get uploaded now again it will get uploaded and you are getting it now you see the same thing angle made by the center and this is its uh, uh, address you see you can come down you can save and close you can have a tag or anything but you see again it has gone there to my account okay the key cyclic quadrilateral equal cards of a circle equal cards of a circle it has gone once again is it okay therefore this is the way to uh, share it or it is the way to save it with your friends okay now let us go to the next one that is actually now we have seen that how to uh, save it in your computer and how to share it with your friends. You can share this file directly or you can share it by uploading in your account in GeoGebra which is totally free. You can have any number of files in your worksheets in your account. Simply click it you can share it with your link. Okay this is the two ways of doing it. Now, whenever you are taking any class, suppose you want to use the worksheet which you have already prepared. Okay. Now, for example, I am taking one uh, in the class. I want to explain to the children like this. Cards of a circle. The card of a circle can be defined as the line segment joining any two point of the circumference of the circle. I am going to tell them that what is the equal card and equal angle theorem. Now, okay. Anyway, I think everything I have explained, everything I have explained it on the board. Now I want the children to come and experience it is through GeoGebra. How to do it? Now what you can do is you can close this PPT and then you can open this uh, equal card of a circle and then you can show it. But there is no need for it. From this PPT you can directly open the GeoGebra file. How to do it? You see equal card and equal angle theorem. Now you have already explained. Now to get the link go to this insert. Go for this shapes in the shape already you might have used all these shapes maybe rectangle basic shape everything you have used come down you are seeing action button what is the meaning of action button when you click that button some action will happen now you see this action button all of them when you click it something will happen but we have to select that action button which will serve the purpose for example video means use the video if there is a video link use the video button if there is a audio link use the audio button if there is a file you use the if there is a document you want to show you use this button it's only anything you can give okay now as i am going to show them a document 
I am clicking this button and then come and putting it here. Immediately it will ask which hyperlink you want to give. In that hyperlink, you go come down and go to other file. Immediately it will ask which file you want to give the link. Now the GeoGebra file which I have made equal card, this I have put it under this let us learn to lead. In that GeoGebra file and in that capital E, I have to come down, equal cards of a circle. I have selected it and I am clicking. I have selected it and I am clicking OK. And I am clicking OK. Now it has come now. You see, whenever I am putting it here, you see, let us learn to lead GeoGebra file equal card of a circle, it is coming. OK, in the class, whenever you are teaching it, now you can teach like this. Dear friends, cards of a circle can be defined as a line segment joining any two points of the circumference of the circle. Then equal card and equal angle theorem, you can explain. And now you can all the children. Now I am going to show you a GeoGebra file on that. Just click it. It will tell you that I want to take you to Microsoft Office, some other uh, file I am going to open. You click OK. This GeoGebra file will automatically open. Normally when it open, already I have told you that whenever you are having this navigation bar, better to keep it at 1 so that so from the beginning you can once again you can recollect you can ask the children what is equal cards they are the length are equal and they subtend equal angle at the center one after the other you can show them these are all two equal cards okay then you can tell them that the angle made by the first card angle made by the second card now you can ask the children to come and tell which angles are equal the child will tell the angle made at the center are equal okay now you can ask them to come and verify it by pulling and pushing okay then once again you can go on explaining it here i have made that equal card of a circular equidistance one or more idea about the equal cards i have added for everything you can explain to the children and you can ask them to come and explore therefore there is no need to minimize or to close that ppt from the powerpoint presentation you can directly show them the geogebra file after it is over you can close it okay don't save you will come back to the ppt once again now if the ppt is running actually for example in a ppt you want to show more than one geogebra file give that link in the slide <coughs> where it is required from there go to the geogebra file you explain it after all the explanation is over come back like this you can make a dynamic worksheet you can design a dynamic worksheet you can save the dynamic worksheet in your computer at a particular folder you can share the geogebra file which you have made through net also through internet or through web by sharing it or putting it as a html file and the geogebra file can be used by using the hyperlink whenever you are doing any presentation in the class. Thank you. Let us learn to lead.